Okay, so we're getting to some really exciting points in our tutorial. We're now going to create data in our database using our application. So just to take you through those steps, we are going to uh, wire up our create button event handler, which is <laughs> as simple as double clicking the button on the form designer. So not a lot of effort there. We're going to create a new task instance, which is something you'll probably want to see. It's pretty, pretty simple actually. And then we're going to update and save that to our database. Cool, so we're getting, getting to some really um, interesting parts of the tutorial now. So if we go to our form, not that, the form designer, new designer, and we double click on our create button. Takes us to the create uh, task click event handler. So the first thing we're gonna do is just do a bit of a validation check to make sure that we actually have enough information or enough data in our form elements so that we can add um, a task to our database. Now, I was debating whether to put this in or not, but I thought we'll just do it. Um, Looking for selected item, just do it for completeness. So we're going to check to see, to ensure that in our, our combo box has a selected item, so that it's not null. And also, and and, that our text task, text, is not an empty string. So basically we're saying, string empty should I say. I don't know how many times I say sting instead of string. There you go. So basically what that's saying is, assuming that our select, we've got a selected item and we have some text in our task description, then we're all good to go. Otherwise, we'll just message the user and say message box show. Uh, please make sure all data uh, has been entered or something, something of that nature. We'll just quickly test that. Okay, so we click create, yeah. Please make sure all this has been entered. So um, if even if we select something, yeah. Put something in here, yeah, it'll, we won't do it. It'll actually go into here. So that's what we want. So all we simply have to do is create another bar. We'll call it something like new task. And that will equal a new, and we'll reference our models folder because as I said previously, task I think is a, a reserved uh, word in other libraries that I'm actually using. So we'll just make it unambiguous by um, referring it to uh, in a more fully, fully qualified way. And then we just simply set the parameters. So the name parameter, we set that equal to txt task text. We will set the status ID, which is basically our uh, foreign key. We'll set that equal to CBO. CBO status selected item. And we'll say it's as a model. So we'll kind of cast it as a status. And we'll reference its ID property. So basically we're saying here, um, our status ID is equal to the CBO status's selected item. We're kind of casting it as a, as a well, which indeed it is, a model status uh, object, and we're uh, accessing its ID attribute, which is effectively the foreign key in our task table that we want. And then our due date is date time picker, date time picker one, and it's just the value of that. Quite simple. And we'll put a semicolon there to finish it off. Now, this has created a new task object effectively, nothing more than that. We now need to add it to our TM context class instance. So we add it to the task collection, add, new task. So what that does is it basically saying to our DB context class, we're actually wanting to add a new task to, to the DB context so that you can track it. But at that point, we've not actually added it to the database. It's just within the realm of our DB context. 
in order to actually add it to the database, we simply say tmdb contact or tm context as its instance, save changes. And what that does is basically the save changes command basically goes through the DB context class and looks for any pending changes that need to be added to the database. So that goes for things like updates, it goes for things like insertions, it goes for things like deletions. So TMDB context basically holds a, a list of things that need to get done um, that haven't been activated in the database and the save changes basically refreshes that down to the database. Let's see if that works. So let's go back here and we'll start our application. So what's the first task we're going to do? I don't know. Finish this video. Due date is, yeah, well, it's the 23rd of uh, May 2018. I'm hoping to finish it on Saturday. I'll probably do the final edit on Saturday. And it's in progress because I'm making it right now. We'll click create. Now, that's a very poor user experience. We don't know whether anything was created. I've not said, yeah, that was successful or that was bad. Fingers crossed though, if we go back to our database and we do a query. So we'll select everything from our um, tasks table. Oh, goodness. So that's the one thing about uh, enterprise manager if you create a new table and you don't close it down and restart it it doesn't kind of know about it sometimes sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't it's a bit weird there we go so it did actually add it to our database but we got no feedback from our application so that's what we're going to sort out in the next section which is reading from our database part two